Hi and welcome back. Henry of HRU Bricks with the Lego Technic Automatic Pressure Activated Air Compressor. Built for my GVC. Let's take a closer look. It's fitted with four V2 pneumatic pumps. That's reinforced type, so they're extra strong down the base. We've got one XL motor, and they all sit in this one frame here. Now that frame is based on a Quantix design, however I've only got one XL and what happens is they've got a central drive shaft and we're actually driving the pumps from two sides and that, that removes any torsion or torque effect through the actual assembly. And we've also got four bushes across the top and what they actually do is this whole section is actually sitting on the bushes. Now what that does is it, it sits separately so it actually reduces the overall volume of the device, the, the machine, and especially when you're sitting on a bench like this, it can be very noisy because it translates through the actual frame and the body into the bench and then out around. So that's very important, it actually sits just off and it's only attached by these four points on the top. Now onto the pressure activated system, you've got a Technic electric switch here, which is connected to the battery and the motor, and just in here we have a yellow pneumatic cylinder and we've got some rubber bands attached to that. What actually happens is as the pump is activated, so let's lead some off, you can see the actual switch is now on and the rubber bands have actually overcome the pressure that's in the system and that's pulled the cylinder closed and what's happening is the pressure is building up in the system which will activate and push that cylinder out and that'll actually turn the machine off. Now it'll do that at around 2 bar. Uh, we can, I can set this up to 3 bar but overall it puts too much pressure on the system and I do believe it actually damages the pumps and I, I've had one fail and I've had to replace that so I only go up to 2 bar as you can hear it's, it's going down. Batteries do need replacing just switched off. Now with the battery replacement, uh, built the frame, the overall frame, so the batteries can be removed straight out and swapped over or changed out and put back in. And that's an important feature. Uh, overall the frame, it sits in this one frame and the idea is it's, it's on one skid, much like the big industrial pumps you see. Some other features of the build, We've got our nanometer to tell us exactly what's going on. So when you're actually activating and using the system, you actually see that move down and, and up. We've got two reservoir tanks. That, that also helps with any spur demands. And we've also got the isolation valve, as you can see, turns it on and off. So when we are plugging our piece of equipment in, we can have it off and then turn it on. Now here is the actual air outlet. So let's hook up the pneumatic control by our valve which is coming up on a new video I've just finished building this as a modular system so you can actually add new modules across or to the left or to the right depending on what you want to do so stay tuned for that one I've hooked the compressor up to my GBC control box and this is a modular system and you're actually able to add and subtract valves as you need and as your GBC grows so stay tuned for that one. That'll be coming out hopefully in the next month or so. But that's all we have time for today. Now click that subscribe button, hit the bell, hit the like, and let me know what you think in the comments below. In the comments is also the Rubricable page link. That'll actually take you over to Rubricable, and that's where I've actually got Stutter.io file for this build. And you'll actually be able to build it yourself. Instead of having to re-engineer it and try and work it out, I've actually put the file up over there and I'd really like to know how you go with that. So leave a comment below, or again, on that rebrickable page. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm happy to help. Uh, thanks again for watching. Uh, it's time to get building now. I'm Henry of HRU Bricks. What will you create?